Let's find out how great of an investor you are. The game is called HODL or Trade. Here's how it works. You'll start with one rare item and be presented with the option to hold it or trade it out for another item. The goal of the game is to make it through all five rounds by successfully choosing the more valuable investment. For example, if you own this Tom Brady rookie card, would you choose to hold it or trade it for this 1985 Ferrari? Which one is a better investment? Spoiler, the Tom Brady rookie card is worth about 100K more. Can you make it through all five rounds and walk away with the most valuable investment? Let's get started. Round one, you're starting with an item that you probably actually owned at one point, a sealed first generation Apple iPod. It revolutionized tech by allowing you to have a thousand songs in your pocket. It retailed for $399 when it first came out. And I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but at the time of this recording, a sealed iPod is worth $33,500 on Rally right now. Okay, so let's see how good of an investor you are. The first item you could trade this Apple iPod for is a pair of Michael Jordan Air Jordan 1s that were worn by Jordan himself in his rookie season. They're not even signed, but just worn by him in his rookie season, okay? So do you stick with the iPod worth $33,500 or take the shoes? Take some time, think. The investment worth more, drum roll, is the Air Jordan 1s. This pair is currently worth $152,000 on Rally. All right, on to round two. We now have the Air Jordan 1s, and as the amazing investor that you are, do you hold this pair of shoes or do you trade it in for this Pierce Brosnan Omega Seamaster watch that, get this, was worn by James Bond himself in the World Is Not Enough movie? This watch represents the early days of Omega's ongoing relationship with the Bond series, the Bond watch of choice. So a luxury Omega watch worn by James Bond himself, or do you hold on to your Air Jordan 1s? Make your choice, here we go. The investment that is worth more is the Air Jordan 1s again. The Bond watch is currently worth $80,000 right now. Now, if you got out, you can keep going. Just keep track of your score. We wanna see how many assets you can guess right. Here we go, round three, we have the Air Jordan 1s versus a Steph Curry rookie card. For you sport card junkies out there, this is a National Treasures rookie patch auto out of 99. So there's 99 similar cards like this one. And this is graded a 9.5 out of 10. There are only two versions that are graded higher than this one. So game worn Michael Jordan shoes versus Steph Curry cardboard. It's time to make your choice to hold the shoes or trade for the sports card. The investment that is worth more is the Steph Curry rookie card by a wide, wide margin. It's currently worth $533,400. Pretty crazy. It's worth so much when there are two cards that are graded higher than this 9.5. We're moving on. It is round four. How are we doing? We scoring pretty high. You, you're still with me? Okay. The chosen few. Here we go. You have the Steph Curry rookie card worth over 500k versus a Triceratops Skull. Yes, this is actually something that you can invest in. This Triceratops Skull is nicknamed Deaton, and he was found in the Hell Creek Formation in North Dakota. It's over seven feet long with all three original horns intact. History right here, history. Triceratops Skull, Steph Curry rookie card. Here we go, make your choice right now. The investment that's worth more is the Steph Curry rookie card again. What? I know, this This is just a wild scene. It blows your mind. But get this, uh, the Triceratops skull is worth $193,800 compared to Steph's piece of cardboard that is worth $533,400. Let that sink in. Okay, so how we doing? If you're one of the few that have gotten all of them right, we're about to start our final round, round five. But before we do, even if you've gotten some of them wrong, I bet you know, you're still a better investor than most of your friends. You've been keeping score. And so there's only one way to prove it right now. Click share, send it to your friends, and tell them there's no way you'll get as many right as I did. Who can actually spot value 
better. Here we go, the final round, round five. It all comes down to this. Dun, 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 dun. Steph Curry rookie card versus the first self-titled comic series for Batman. Batman comic number one. Now, Batman made his first appearance in another comic with a group of heroes, but this comic was the first appearance of the Joker and Catwoman. It came out in 1940, and there are only seven examples graded in better condition than this 8.0 example. So Steph Curry cardboard or Batman number one. The final round, the investment that is worth more is... Batman number one coming in at, get this, $1.8 million. Boom. Rare vintage comics for the win in the alternative asset space. I hope you had a fun time playing HODL or trade. If you're interested in learning more about alternative investments like the ones talked about in this game, you can check out and subscribe to my channel where I break down the latest in alternative investments, post educational videos, and much, much more.